and welcome to the chain rule. So this is basically a way of finding the derivative when you sort of have two functions in one. The first function sort of being inside the parentheses here, and the second function sort of being whatever's outside of the parentheses. In this case, you can think of it just as sort of like a one right here on the outside, and then an exponent of two. So we'll just take this away for now. First off, what you're gonna start off doing is taking the derivative of the function inside the parentheses. So we're, that's gonna give us nine x squared, if we take away one from the exponent by multiply the original exponent by the coefficient, and then seven just at the end because our x goes away. And so that'll be what we start off with. And then what you do is you multiply now by the overall sort of uh, function. So you're gonna leave the function inside the parentheses intact, but now you're gonna derive what's outside of it. So since we just have a two, it'll be pretty easy. We multiply the parentheses by the exponent, uh, as you would just sort of here, as we did with the three x cubed. So it would be two at the front here, then whatever's in the parentheses. Now we don't derive what is in the parentheses. We just leave it as it is. And then our exponent, as we subtract one from it, it turns into a one. And so that'll just be there, but we don't need that because it means the same thing. So now here is our sort of expanded derivative of the parent function. And now what we can do is we can sort of make this more compact. So we can first start off, I guess, by multiplying this two into the uh, parentheses. So this will give us six x cubed plus 14 x. And this part, and then this part will stay the same, nine x squared plus seven. And now we will just multiply these two together. And so this is gonna be where you just use foil. I'm gonna get down low here and pull up my chair. And so now I'll just sort of form this as you would a regular uh, function where you would use foil with 9x squared plus 7 times 6x cubed plus 14x and let's get to foiling. So you have 9 times 6 that's 54x to the power of Five, because if you are multiplying exponents, then you add them. And then we have nine x squared times 14 x. So nine times 14, well, let's see, nine times four is 36. Add that to 90, that's 126. So plus 126 x cubed. And then, so we're done with 9x squared, and then we uh, do with it's the same thing with 7. So we have 7 times 6x cubed, so that is 42. 42x cubed, and then 7 times 14, 7 times 12, that is 84. 7 times 2 is 14, so 84 plus 14, that is 98. And then, there we go, 98x. And so here is our, we're almost there at the final part of our equation. Obviously, all that's left to do is to combine like terms. So 54 can stay the same, 98x can stay the same. And all that we need to really do is combine 126x cubed and 42x cubed. So we'll have 98x over here at the end. So 42 plus 126 is 168, 168 x cubed. And there we go, we finally made it. We are at the finished version of deriving this sort of two in one equation. And there you go, that's the chain rule, thank you.